Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true dad welcome. To diplomacy is not an option. A big stressful city builder where you're going to die so you may as well just accept it. Because, yes indeed, the game's got a few similarities to They Are Billions, except Rather than using steampunk technology to try and survive against waves of zombies, in this game, you're fighting peasants. And you're fighting them with some utterly, delightfully ludicrous magic powers. So, what we're dealing with here, at its core, is a city builder. Alright, so I can gather resources, and I can use them to build more houses for more people, or food production. But there's a bit of a twist, which is, uh, this game's not really about that. All of that is in service to you not being dead in about four days' time. And to pick that number very specifically, because in four days there's going to be a giant squad of enemies uh, that are going to want to come and kill me. And uh, when I say giant, I do mean giant, okay? It's going to start off manageable, but give it 30 minutes, we are going to be swarmed with more revolting peasants than we know what to do with. So we need to be bloody ready. Now ultimately that means we're going to need to build a ton of defences, but right now we have got nothing coming in. So we need to get set up as fast as possible. A lumber mill. Now that sounds bloody useful, doesn't it? Convert trees into something we can actually, you know, use the trees for. Yes, one of them over here. Honestly, would not be a terrible idea to have two. My little builders run over there. They start constructing that. And obviously right now, we've got spare people who don't have jobs. That's what this number up here is for. As soon as this building is completed, however... Then a couple of people rush straight over to nearby trees and start doing some chopping. They're going to cut down trees. The trees will actually disappear, so eventually we will deforest the area. They'll take the tree over here, turn it into water, bring the wood back over here. Bob's your uncle. I've got more bloody woods. But there are ways to give myself a bit of a head start. So I start off with a little army here. And by the way, I like this. So if I just tell them to go over here, they do line up with the melee lads up front, the archers in the rear. I love it. These carts. These carts are useful because these carts will just give me a tiny little burst of uh, wood straight away. My builders are just going around, but right now, yes, I've only got two builders. You may notice they're taking a bit of time to actually do their jobs. Number one, spend a bit of wood getting more builders out. Let's just double the amount of builders so you guys can face. That's a good facing. I like that right there. So now two people who don't have jobs are about to become builders. Meanwhile, all these people need to eat. Right now, I've got 60 food, none coming in. And yes, 19 people means 19 food is going to be necessary. And I can't help but notice there's a whole bunch of berry bushes dotted about. So, slap down a little berry thing right there. One person can now be a berry farmer. Lovely. And while that's all happening... Yes, I'm just going to send my people around uh, to get an idea as to what's going on in the world. Because I imagine pretty bloody soon... Hello over there! That there is a filthy peasant who doesn't want me to be king anymore. What a bastard. Individually, they're basically trash. So we can just send in the troops. The archers will open fire. He will die almost immediately. Just make sure we take out his uh, friend too. So just send in the guys to murder him. And yes, my troops, being armoured, have loads of health. And loads of armour. And hits really hard and diddly diddly dee. Knock out his house meanwhile. And this is very important. That is a soul crystal, which we're going to take to mark the small amount of murder we just did. Soul crystals are good. That's how you do the ludicrous mega magic I just mentioned. If we go a bit too uh, far away from the castle, however, you may notice, yes, larger rebel towns. We don't want to be taking them on just yet. So, yeah, just do a little periambulation nearby to the town, just to seize any loose goods, make sure we know what's going on. And also just slap down one fisherman's hut because, yes indeed, fish, good source of food as well. So right now, food is going up at a good rate. Wood is going up at a good rate. So, good day, but it's almost actually the, uh, the first night already. Sooner or later, there's going to be trouble. We're going to be needing some more troops. So, how about we just slap down barracks? A basic barracks is never going to flipping hurt. Send my builders uh, to assist with that. Filthy rebels just chilling out in the night. Take them out too. And as the genocide continues and day two rolls in, 
Yes, more people. Population is going up five a day, meaning five new people who don't have jobs just spawned in. So now I've got a whole bunch of new people. One basic stone mine to start us off would not be a bad idea either. Now, slight problem we've got going on here. You may notice that, uh, yes, right now the empire is a bit inefficient. Once people have brought their wood to here, they have to carry it back to the town hall and the stone mine needs to go even further. Now that, that's not a good idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slap them down a nice storage unit. These guys can walk the stuff right here, which makes life much easier for them and means I get resources way more efficiently. Because now these guys are spending less time walking their wood back to the town hall and more time actually making wood. Here you go, there's a nice little man, he just made some wood, he's gonna dump it here, life is flipping good, so now all of a sudden, that lumber yard is way more efficient. So at this point we probably want to start thinking about training some more troops. Problem is, to train troops you need a free person and a free food. Now food right now is plentiful, people not so much. How do we get people faster? By putting down more housing. Housing doesn't just increase the cap of the number of people in your empire, it also on top of that raises the rate at which people are joining your empire. There we go, pop caps way higher and I'm now gaining 9 people per day. Though this is a bit of a poison chalice because every time you gain more and more pops you need more food to feed them and starvation is going to be a problem, damn it. Perfect timing, we've gained a tiny bit of stone and right now we don't need it for core buildings. So how about we dump it into research? Every time you unlock a new building, you gain new tax. So here we go, my workers. In two minutes, my workers are going to be 10% faster because I've given them comfortable shoes that are made out of stone. But okay, maybe they know that if they don't go 10% faster, I make them wear the stone shoes. Kind of more of a threat than a benefit. Okay, I did just notice the giant pulsating devil on the map. So, yeah, that's the time till it's day four. And then it's go time. The invasion is uh, on the way. So, probably best under the circumstances that we get some more troops out. Yes, we got plenty of wood so we can get plenty of archers. And I want so many archers. Just give me... All the archers right now. Let's get some flipping towers sorted out. Towers are great because your archers can just stand in them. Gates, good too. You can open and close them and some more archers can stand on them too. Walls, they're just a nice, cheap, easy way of defending yourself. Now, these guys are, well, probably going to come in this angle. But I can't be 100% sure because I haven't really scouted out that bit of the map yet. So... For safety, I'm probably going to build, uh, yeah, some nice simple towers right here. And also bear in mind, rebels can't bloody swim. So another one right here would not be a bad idea. Then just slap down a wall right there. My builders will be getting on with this very, very soon indeed. That'll do for the time being. We can toss up more later. Okay, the enemy forces are on their way. The wall's not entirely done yet. There we go, we can- oh bloody hell, this is not what I was expecting to see, it turns out there are 10 million problems. Okay, get my catapult in this tower, get everybody else into this group right here. It turns out there was a giant town of them that aren't even the attacking force, these are just extras, but I've got plenty of troops dotted about. I've got a catapult that does a big area spell, we can take out these guys, there's more coming in. Guys, line yourselves up right here, defend this tower, and yes, welcome to uh, to wave one. But this is fine, this is all under control, my guys are going to run forward, start chopping them down, no trouble, murder, 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 there's another group over there, but these guys can do something about that. Guys, who are my melee lads, move into position, there's uh, an entire second wave, but walls have a uh, 
plenty of health. Just keep them away from any of my troops. Right here, send my own melee lads in. The catapult's doing an excellent job. Right over there, my archers are doing a good work. We're even taking out this town. Wave one, not so. Uh-oh. Somebody just died. One of my soldiers just died. Dear oh, flipper dear. Get them back. They're taking a lot of damage. There might be some tougher lads in there. Don't want my guys to die. Why? Because dead people are bad for uh, morale and uh, other stuff. So just send the weak guy back to safety. You guys get in over here. Take care of this as best you can. There's no uh, friendly fire. Best as I can. What did I just tell you? And there we go. Wave one has been taken care of. And... Uh, We've taken a tiny bit of damage. In particular, there's a corpse. Somebody didn't make it. And uh, even though we're happy to let the peasants just lie out and, you know, disintegrate, beaten by crows, whatever. No, our brave swordsman, that won't do. And also might start a disease. So, builders, begin auto-repairing, if you'd be so kind. And when you're done with that, we're going to be needing a grave digger and a graveyard. Because otherwise people don't get buried, then there's a good risk of disease outbreak. And we don't want that. We need more stone. Sooner or later, I want tech up. And I do not have the stone to do it. Though on the other hand, yes, you've never got enough bloody resources to do everything you want to do. Stone I could also spend on making all my troops better. My basic swordsman could avoid damage a certain part of the time. Or my archers could do double damage. I feel like I want those, yes. So it's day five and next attack day seven and the next attack is going to be much worse. Meaning we might need to start using magic. If we want to use magic, then we could pull down spells. The only one we've got right now is a summoning additional knight. So I can just teleport three units anywhere on the map as I wish. Bloody useful. But to power it, I need soul crystals. To get soul crystals, I need to send my army round the map murdering peasants. So I need more troops to power my most powerful abilities. You can't just sit back and wait. Otherwise, you're going to be in trouble sooner or later. Okay, and here's something good. The next attack appears to be coming from at the precise angle the last one did. I'm going to put a tower right on the corner here. I'm going to put some more walls down leading to the tower. That is absolutely A-OK. -okay. We've got plenty of time to sort this out. They're probably going to come in the same route as last time. So it turns out there's, there's a big group over here. That's not the invading army, by the way. They just, um, they just live here. Ah, slight miscalculation on my side, though. Yes, what I should have done is put a gateway here, because then my builders could have got through into this area to build additional layers of defense against the enemy. Okay, gate is now completed. Maybe shut the door, by the way, so they can't just walk through. I've got, yes, my one started catapult up here. Archers, more archers are piling into this tower. Archers can just be wherever as well. These guys are going to walk straight into a giant kill zone. It's going to be beautiful. And here we go. Here comes the catapult opening fire. Doing a big splash. Taking down some trees too. My archers now firing on all of this. Are you guys actually in range? Oh, you guys might be irritatingly out of range, which would be really unfortunate. Okay, I'm going to slap down one unit of ghosts over here to pull these guys north because I want them into range of these archers. And if we can, okay, my normal troops are also engaging, which I do not want them to do just yet. I would rather actually they were to, yes, hold position right where they are. Do not move forward. Guard, 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 guard. You may notice, by the way, there's more than there were previously. Just to pull my troops back. Maybe close the door, by the way. And my ghost troops can just move in and do what they can. Seriously, guys, I want you to be holding position. And does anyone know what? Oh, that'll be one of those guys dying. Okay, bare minimum, the catapult's doing good work. While the ghost people are just distracting, the catapult's doing beautiful work. So, yeah, so your ghost people die like that. Just so you know, that she ghost people dying. A lot more coming in. They, 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 they still seem to be coming. They're definitely still coming. Do I stand and fight with my melee troops? Or do I say, you know what? My archers might be able to do this by themselves. Because I suspect they could, you know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to cow it out. 
You guys are going to... No, 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 no. Back out, back out, back out, back out, back out. And now that's done, close the door. And we're just going to let my archers do the work. There is a giant kill box right here. I believe my archers can do this. Because walls are pretty tough. And if they can't, which they might not be able to. And you guys are not bloody helping right now. Deploy additional ghost people to assist. That will distract them for the time being, and I think we're almost past it. Okay, the wave has finally stopped arriving. It's nearly the next bloody day, but I think with that second ghost, we're going to be fine. And with that, we've lost basically, in fact, we've lost nobody. And on top of that, okay, we were saving up the resources. Upgrade. This castle can now become Castle 2, meaning once that's done, this building could become barracks too so okay that's a really important upgrade and there we go job done right well done everybody at this point Research i think we need complete. basic coverage however from every angle because they could be coming from anywhere also i've only got 25 food and i need uh oh oh i did not build enough housing Right, thanks to my watchtower, I can see, however, there's a ton of food relatively unguarded down south. So, gather the troops, we're going to go get it. Oh, yeah, we got food, and on top of that, there's a whole bunch of people floating around down here who are stupid enough to not be in a big rebel town. So we can burn down their houses in order to do my demonic magic. I love it. Oh, and it's done. Town Hall 2. Brilliant. Meaning, okay. We can now start building food infrastructure that actually makes sense. Because farms can produce a lot of food. So what we need to do is, yes, now that this area is very safe, we can build farmland on this plane. Though I am going to need more people to be farmers. And here we go. The advantage of watchtowers are I can see incoming raiding parties. So I know you guys are coming in and are you going to take out my... Okay. I'm going to drop a tiny Research bit of magic complete. just to intercept this here party. This is what, yeah, the little ghost teleport thing is very good at. Though there are other oh, things as well in particular. Back. Maybe it's time to uh, upgrade the magic a tiny bit. Because a simple obelisk, if I just put that down anywhere, gives me a brand new ability. Specifically, it gives me the death beam. So I can just basically zap my enemies from space. Which is just delightful shall we say two minutes 45 to the next wave so okay i see the precise area we need to wall up get out a giant pile of archers get every archer out you can and then just pray there's enough wood to go round right clear out some of these towers oh, yeah. you guys just move in this direction down over to here you guys move uh, to here catapult probably needs to move to a sensible position yeah catapult right there will be good please don't open fire on that town by the way i do not need trouble with that town right now i mean i've got spare stone i'm not really using for anything and i can also build ooh, a massive tower i mean that's rather exciting screw it we're building that if they're probably coming from this angle, a proper stone wall right here would be good. Say that, can't actually afford it. Just need the tiniest, tiniest bit more. Please open fire anytime you're ready. My builders are really nearby to trouble right now. Just take out all of you. Take out all of you too. Dropping in all of that. There we go. That's coming in. Please finish off this one wall. It's kind of important actually. Okay, is that thing coming in this direction? I think it is an... Uh-oh. Some of them are coming in this direction, which I was not particularly expecting, meaning I need more archers up here, and there are no archers to spare up here. I think it might be time for an astral ray, by the way. So we're just going to... Yes, we're just going to clear out all these guys. I can't really see what's going on, but we're just going to... Well, that was them dead. That did... It did something. Oh, the majority of them are over there. Like, the number here is very small. That's the majority. Um, you guys. I need you to move around here and flank and take out 
these guys. So just move into position around here, intercept the small group that is skirmishing over here. That means the archers are going to be free. As many of you as you can fit into this tower right here, all right? A whole bunch of you right there. A whole bunch of the rest of you over to here. It's going to be fine. Are we going to be able to hold here? I don't know. And they're bringing in catapults. I could do one more astral ray. And I feel like I want to do that. Screw you. Screw your troops. Screw your troops. Screw your troops. Screw your... Still coming in. I need you to target that catapult, please. I want it dead. Take it out. And, I mean, then again, you're doing good work. How are the the walls doing? They're holding for now. Uh, distraction ghosts right there. That should assist with buying the walls a, a moment. I'm sending in my main troops around the rear. There's no such thing as a flanking action, but we're just going to have to make do. Take out that thing right there. You guys going it down. The walls might be about to give up, but we're probably... Yep, some of the walls have given up. Guys, back off. Block the breach right now with no... Why are you moving forward? There's definitely corpses. Okay, these guys are doing a competent... I don't think they're doing a competent job. I think they're having their ass handed to them. How are we doing over here? The walls are absolutely in trouble. But the archers are laying down enough fire. And... Okay, it's fine. It's all under control. The town is a-okay. And we're getting a whole bunch of new people coming in. We can retrain. We can rebuild. More importantly, we can tech up in just a second. Get this mine operating. I need more stone. Okay, plug the gaps in the wall, finish the wall that exists on this side, okay? We're going to have a complete wall, slightly made of stone, mostly not. Day 14, we're expanding to the north here. Just building a new tower to guard the new iron mine, new stone mine. May as well get a brand new lumber mill to help out with this forest too. Because, 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 crucially, the market. The market lets me buy and sell. So as a result of this thing existing, yes, I can start selling excess stuff to get stuff I actually need in a hurry. Day 15, we have been extremely bloody lucky. It's the right again. So what I suspect is about to happen is, yes, given I now know there's all this stone here, they're almost certainly going to be funneled into this nice little dumb area where they can't really do much to me. And uh, oh my, yes, 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 yes. Thank you very much. I'll be taking that. I think it's time. Get production going of crossbowmen. Every crossbowman we can afford. And that means we're out of food. But don't worry, the farms will make more. It's going to be fine. So, okay, crossbowmen coming in. Oh, bonus attack speed with my crossbowmen in three minutes. Yeah, I think we'll be taking that. We're going to have a second layer of defences. So yes, now we just get the good troops right there. The crossbowmen are piling in. We have got... We've got like no melee troops, but do we really need melee troops? I don't think we do. Okay, here we go. The wave's incoming. The defences are ready. Assuming the defences are, you know, defending the right thing. But it's going to be fine, aside from the fact I've got... No magic. Like, none. Last minute switch around though, I'm going to move my catapult up to the near tower. From there it's going to have a much better shot. They can just be doing huge amounts of damage to this area. And they're coming in. Okay, this is pretty much as good as it's going to get. They are going to be, uh oh. That's the big lads. Those are the hulks. They've got like 200 hit points each. So, just... Be ready for trouble. Come on, crossbowmen. The techies, the tech's done. That's completed. What else do I potentially have? I could make my stone walls better. I can't do it just this second. Just handful. Handful more stone. Come on, guys. Just get the stone into the thing. Let's get improved walls. We may as well start off with that. Here come the crossbows. Okay. They're taking them down pretty effectively, but is it... I don't think that's even... Close to enough. There's... It's nothing but hulks. It is nothing but hulks. Okay. Um, If they start taking down the walls, 
we can fall back to the next area. It's going to be fine. Keep on firing. The stone walls, actually, they might do enough. They might do enough. We're doing a lot of firing into that right now. That's doing a lot of splash damage. The walls are holding, and we have a second tier to fall back to. Please no skirmishing at the same time, if you'd be so kind. And, uh, I mean, we're doing something at this point. You now need to focus more like there. It's already night. This day is over. You completely missed. Okay. How are we doing right now? Some of the walls are looking flimsy. The walls are going to fall before the tower does. Okay, archers fall back to, yes, this tower over here. The walls are falling, which is going to give them a better surround on this tower. Uh, keep an eye on the health bars. I think we're okay. And if we can just survive this without really losing much of the way of over the, um... Yeah, slight issue. These guys now can't really retreat as effectively. We've got such a large amount of firepower. We might actually be fine. We don't even need to actually evacuate that tower. Oh, flip me. Oh, we're golden. Oh, lads. Oh, I'll take it. Aside from that one corpse. Ignore that corpse. Okay, we're swimming in woods. We've got no stone. Mark it. Do your business. And there we go. I can now sort out that balance nice and easy. 50 seconds till the next one. Beautiful. So the wood's gone, but it's going to take some time for the stone to come back, I assume. Which does seem, you know, eminently reasonable. And Okay, you can stop firing now. I would say I have now got a giant pile of archers ready to go. So you guys just hold position and just slowly move up. It's time to get some magic back on the menu. Oh yeah, now this is more like it. This is more flipping like it. Screw you, peasants. Okay, we've done some good work gathering some magic, but we're getting a little bit too deep into the enemy territory right now. And also, there are skirmishers coming in, but we've got a few magic blocks back, which is nice. And uh oh, right. So now there's, now they're coming from two angles. Okay, um, 10 seconds to go. Gonna be honest, we are, we're not ready. We're not, we're not even remotely ready. The tower's down south, not ready. Wall up north, not built yet. Work in progress. Bit far for the, um, yes, workers to Enemy wander. Are approaching. So what we're gonna say, as there's absolutely no wall here at all, is hey. the majority of troops are just going to pile into there. And some troops are going to come down south and they're going to just hope, basically. And this here, lovely, lovely tower with a catapult in it is going to help somehow. My only option is to use everything that I've got in terms of... Wait, hang on, where are you going? Are you maybe coming down in this direction? Because if you... Oh, I think he is. Oh, flip me, we've got a chance. Okay, this we might be able to hold, rather, we could have done had we not kind of... Okay, guys, fall back to the wooden wall. Guys, step two, get into here. We've got plenty of good guys over to here. Rest of you, over to... Uh-oh! Once they've all appeared, if I could just astral beam all of them, I might have the slightest possibility. This group appears to not be making progress. There's enough firepower here to hold them at bay for now. This group's the one that's going to kill me. And go, 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 go. That was a lot of dead. That was a lot of corpses. But it appears to be making no difference. Fill the breach. Fill the breach right now. Send in what tiny few melee troops we have remaining. Keep them busy. I think they've got a big Rebel Hulk. That was nothing. That's it. They're taking this out. Some of them are overflowing in this direction. Is that the end? Where's the cocking end? Oh, bloody hell. It's like there's like, I don't know, several thousand of them or something. Um. Okay. I think that's the end. Here come the catapults. Right, so they've got catapults at the rear. This is where something like cavalry would be useful. We don't have that. What can I train? Bring in some spearmen. If they make it to the town hall and the town hall falls, that's it. It's over. But I feel like actually we've got this side. This side's going to hold, meaning... Okay, where could I do a last stand? Get me towers that are nearby to... Yes, the town hall. Oh, bloody hell! 
Does anyone know what that was? Because I didn't do that. That wasn't me. But something seems to have... Oh, is that the blimp? This side is, I think, under control. You just need to keep firing on this spot right here, if you'd be so kind. We've got something that's going to do a little bit of good work, but... Okay, it's now the following morning. People are dying. The houses have collapsed, so we're not getting any more population anytime soon. We might be okay. Just, okay, it's time to bring you guys out over here. Okay, where have we got uh, any form of uh, towers? Uh-oh, no, they're attacking. They're attacking directly. They're attacking direct. Just get them in over here. These guys are slow. What's going on? Oh, good. We've got walls up here. Well, that's brilliant. That's so bloody useful. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're going to not die. By which I mean, not today. Tomorrow, yes. Then we die. But I think we've actually managed to take out the filthy bloody peasants. Oh, here it comes. Here comes the problems. It's from the south and the east again. This isn't like much for now. I've not been able to gather too much in the way of magic. The defences have not been repaired down south. They're just walking straight in. Oh, bloody hell. There's, there's already skirmishers inside the town. The best bet I've got is use every crossbowman I've got to try and hold somewhere around here. This tower might be useful. There's just... There's no end to them. And the walls are not going to hold for long. And, okay, just buy myself some time over here. There's just a bunch of archers standing by on this side. They might be able to do something. What else do we have? Do we have anything left over spare at all? Not really. This appears to be your lance. And I don't think there's any surviving this. Walls have entirely failed on the south. Crossbowmen are doing a competent job, but oh no, I think one of the uh, towers fell down and I completely missed it. So there's a whole bunch of the dead. Their catapults have been taken out. They're finally noticing that they're under attack. Pull my archers back a tiny, tiny amount. Nine crossbowmen here. You guys are now not doing anything, which is unfortunate. You guys, I wouldn't, to be honest. I'd stay up there. As well as we're doing right now, I don't think this is going to be even... No. Down it goes. We did our best, damn it. So, dance diplomacy is not an option. And uh, yes, it's a very interesting, fun alternative to... They are billions. Town builder, tower defense, strategy game... Now, I will say, this is very early access, so it's got a campaign, but the campaign's only got like three missions in it, so plenty of work yet to be done, but a solid foundation may well see it again in future if, you know, they keep on working on it, add a few more bits and pieces, make the campaign something worth experiencing, so... Keep your eyes open. As I say, we may well see this again. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Diplomacy is Not an Option. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.